I'd rather you hate me and get better than like me and stay the same. What do you stand for? What do you believe in? A lot of us are full of... I was one of those people back in the day. And sometimes I'm still full of shit. We think that we're working our ass off, working hard. You know, we've been working out hard in the gym for a month. But we haven't seen any results. So we get off down and poopy pants. You study for 30 minutes for a test. And you didn't do as well as you thought. What do you expect? You're not putting in the work. You have to do more. Everybody goes, what is your secret, man? What's your secret about business? What's your secret about this? What's your secret about that? You don't want the answer. The yeah. answer is, you see these hands? Hard work. Hard work, man. You have to look at suffering as almost like I look at failure. To succeed, you must fail. Learn from yourself, learn from life, learn from your failures, learn from your insecurities, learn from your self-doubt. The truth of the starting line, we live in a world that's very unauthentic. So who are you? What do you stand for? What do you believe in? There's a lot of successful people in this world who still feel empty inside. And they wonder why they still feel empty. So they try to make another million, two million, three million. Let's buy a new car, a new house, a new boat. Let's buy more of everything. At the end of the day, it still feel real empty inside. For me, I wasn't even successful. I just felt empty. So I was trying to hide my insecurities, my doubts, all this bullshit. So I was trying to dress up a turd. And when you try to dress up a turd, you're still a turd. It's like a turkey. You get a turkey for Thanksgiving. If you don't know what you're doing, you cook that mother without going inside and cleaning it out. You gotta clean the insides out before you start dressing it up. Same thing with life. If you don't get inside your soul, inside your heart, and fix it, be willing to go to war with yourself. It's not magic. It's literally, you're gonna have to wake up, yeah. and you're gonna have to sit there and say, today's gonna suck. And then when that day is over, you're gonna wake up again and say, yeah. The next day is going to suck. You're not putting in the work. You have to do more. And the only way to see who the baddest motherfucker is is to suffer. You know, a lot of people don't like what I say. A lot of people hate that I cuss. A lot of people hate a lot of things about me. I don't give When you find out who you are, that's when you start living your life. Don't fit in just for the sake of fitting in in life. Make sure if you have something to say, say it. Within the suffering, go in there, and I call it the live autopsy. The live autopsy, how you find out someone died, they crack you open after you're dead. How you can live is do it while you're alive. And the only message I want to get across to people is once you change one thing, your mindset, you can attack everything. Mm. Go back in your brain, crack it open while you're alive. Don't wait until you're dead to figure out why you died. Do it while you are living. Go in there, go into the suffering. Go into the pain of your life and say, why did this suck for me so bad? Why am I afraid of all this stuff? It's in these nooks of the suffering within your brain, in the scarring, are all the answers to why you are on the couch feeling sorry for yourself. You gotta stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. In life, it's never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling of, man, I'm out working the crowd. I'm out working everybody. I'm doing more. It's not until then, once you get there, that's when you can know you've done enough. In failure and in suffering, all the answers are in there. All the answers to all the test questions, the test is your life. All the answers are in there. You don't have to live in suffering and pain and failure all the time. You have to learn, I need to visit it. Like people hate working out. You're only going to visit working out maybe an hour a day. 23 other hours of the day, you're not in it. Mm. 
But how you become in shape is you must visit suffering, visit working out one hour a day. All I wanted people to do in my life, I don't care about the money, I don't care about the fame, I don't care if, any, I don't care if all my followers go away tomorrow. I wanted a lot of people that doubted me to look like Apollo Creed did in that 14th round because I got back up repeatedly. And when you keep on getting back up like that, no matter how strong the person is that's beating the out of you, they eventually look at you and say, you know what, I'm tired. And I just want people to be tired. It's funny. I walk around, people come up to me and they say, man, you're that Navy SEAL you went to Ranger School, you were, you know, Air Force Tag P. The funny thing about it that I think about is this. They know that part of me. This is the part I know about myself. I filled the ASVAB test to get in the military three times. In the Air Force, I filled that pararescue. In the SEALs, it took me three times to get through Navy SEAL training. This is what I know about me. So what I'm saying is this. You can't live your life being afraid to fail. All those failures made me the success in the day. Most people who are failing are trying their ass off. I don't want to set out and say, oh, there's an A. We're good. It's stupid. No. I want to turn it in a million times and say, you failed. You failed. And I'll say, okay, roger that. And sit there and analyze what I'm doing wrong. Never forget to train your mind. Make sure in life you do what you have to do, say what you have to say, and live the life that you have to live. Don't walk around being a fake human being. Don't be scared to be who you are. Look at your audience uh -huh. who's criticizing you, uh -huh. first of all. Yep. They're not even in your world. Yes. You don't even talk to me. Yep. Block them out. Go to these places that people don't go to anymore because all this social media and everything's computerized. I want to go to that dark place in my mind and say, okay, how are we going to get this done? When I was 297 pounds and I was fat as hell trying to be a Navy SEAL, the scariest thing in the world to me, even to this day, was that that could have been the rest of my life. I thought then I was trying hard. And sometimes life is fucking hard. So when I first joined the Navy, I had to join the reserves because I couldn't get into active duty because I was so fat. So being a reservist, I got titled a lot of times as a weekend warrior. In the reserves, you work one weekend a month, two weeks a year. A lot of us live our lives that way. We can't work out without purpose. The biggest purpose in life isn't all that sh It's how you respect yourself, how you look at yourself. That's an everyday journey. You're not working your butt off hard enough. You're not trying hard enough. We all think we're trying hard. But what are you gauging that off of? In life, a lot of us work our ass off trying to get to a, a better place, a place that makes us feel better about ourselves. But guess what happens? Once you get to the actual event, your mind isn't ready. Your mind's not prepared. You've been studying, you've been training, you've been working out, but your mind's not prepared. Story for you. When I was 19 years old, I was going through the Air Force trying to be a pararescueman. I was doing push-ups, sit-ups, swimming. I was doing all the knocking out of the park. One of the best in the class. But the second the obstacle got in my fucking way, I wasn't prepared for it mentally. So every day you should be getting after it. We look at determination, self-discipline. We look at hard work. All these terms is almost like we dread them. It was like a fucking punishment. Those are the biggest words of all time as far as respecting yourself. Trying hard is something in your mind just doesn't stop. Only those people who have been there a million times in their minds and have suffered a million times and realize my legs may break, my knee may break, and accept that. I know right now 
Whether you hate me, love me, I'm a, I'm a this, I'm a that. Whatever you want to think, I made it.